Dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the endodontic anatomy of the permanent maxillary canine. So this is a crown and the root outline of the permanent maxillary canine. The tooth, it has the pulp chamber, it is quite narrow as compared to the central and a lateral incisor with a single pulp horn. So the pulp horn, it is single. This single pulp canal, which is quite wide in the cervical and the middle root area. In the apical portion, the canal, it usually curve in a distal direction. This is the labiolingual section of the tooth from the mesial aspect. From the labiolingual aspect, the pulp chamber it is more wide labiolingually or labiopalatally in other words as compared to the mesial uh, distal section. Similar uh, pattern is in the canal as well. The canal is also very wide. And in the apical one third, there is a constriction in the canal. The apical third, then there is a constriction in the canal. So the apical foramen, it opens at the tip of the uh, root. Or sometimes it opens slightly labially. Now, uh, in the cross section at the cervical area of the root, uh, the cross section at the cervical area, this is the labial side of the tooth. This is the labial side of the tooth at the cervical area. This is the labial side. And this is the lingual side. So the canal, it is located in the center of the tooth and mostly it is oval in shape. A large oval canal located in the center of the tooth. Sometimes a uh, triangular shape, the canal, it is of the triangle shape. It is now in the, in the apical one third of the root, In the shape of the canal, it is rounded, round in the apical one-third area, and it is present in the center of the root. Now, with age changes, with advancing age, there is more deposition of the secondary dentine, and sometimes there's deposition of the tertiary dentine. So overall, the size of the pulp chamber, it is reduced, so I am drawing uh, the pulp of a old age patient with purple color. Now, similarly, in a labiolingual section, there's also reduction in the size of the pulp chamber and the canal. Similarly, in the cervical section, there's also reduction in the pulp canal and in the apical section of the root, there's also reduction in the size of the canal. So this is all about the uh, endodontic anatomy of the permanent maxillary canine. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Also, give us your feedback in the comment, comments below. Uh, sub, do subscribe to our channel and follow our Instagram account for questions, images, and flashcards. Again, thank you very much and stay blessed.